Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem I got from one of my subscribers and here's a problem. If you cross a plant that exhibits monosomy in chromosome number 5 with dominant gene T for height and plant that exhibits trisomy in uh, chromosome number 5 with recessive gene T on all three copies of the chromosome number 5, what will be the genotypic and phenotypic ratio in the F1 generation? Uh, what you need to know is that monosomy means that instead of normal two copies of the chromosome, like we have um, in all diploid organisms, this organism has only one chromosome. And trisomy means that instead of two copies, organism has three copies of the chromosome. All the rest chromosomes are present in two copies. So organism uh, which has only one chromosome number 5 with dominant gene T on it would produce two types of gametes. One would have uh, zero chromosome number 5, another would have one chromosome with dominant gene T. As for the second parent which has three copies of the chromosome number 5, we cannot divide 3 by 2 we of course can do it in mass, but uh, in genetics we uh, cannot do it. Uh, we only can get two types of the gametes. One would have one uh, chromosome with uh, recessive um, gene T on it. Another type of gametes would have two such chromosomes with recessive gene T on each. So if we build simple Punnett square, let's take a look what we are going to get in F1 generation. So we are going to get uh, T here. I'm not going to put this zero because zero means just absence of the chromosome. And T, T here, capital T, small t here and capital T and two small t here. So what our ratio of the genotypes? So this is one distinctive genotype with one recessive, uh, with one chromosome with recessive gene on it. This is another distinctive genotype with two uh, chromosomes with recessive genes. And uh, here is the third and here is the fourth. So all the three genotypes are different. And uh, ratio is going to be 1 to 1 to 1 and to 1. And this is genotypic ratio. Let's now take a look what phenotypic ratio we are going to have. And if we have here simple Mendelian genetics, this two genotypes would produce same phenotype, which is going to be recessive phenotype. And this genotype would produce dominant phenotype. So we have two phenotypes here and the ratio is going to be again 1 to 1. This is an answer to the second question. And I also want you to pay attention that we have uh, monosomy here, trisomy here, but in a progeny we see that 50% of the progeny are going to be deployed. 50% of the progeny are going to be deployed. And uh, we also see monosomy and trisomy here. So this is going to be ratios of um, phenotypes and genotypes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video. Goodbye.